Hi, we're Kai and Alex. And we're travelling around Australia in our Volkswagen Transporter. Come and have a look. So one of my favourite additions to the van is this rear-facing bench seat. Uh, firstly, just for the seat itself, nicety of being able to sit inside, a bit more seating area for us, um, as well as access a few of the other things that we'll go through um, over here. Underneath the rear-facing bench seat um, is our kitchen setup. So it just rolls out on this heavy-duty um, rollers here that can hold up to 240 kilos or something. And then when that rolls out, we have access to the first part of our pantry underneath here, which has all our herbs and spices, coffee stuff, and all like the essential cooking items. Um, and then over here is our um, little bench space we have for chopping things up, cutting things up, placing things on there. And then that comes off where we have access to where our gas bottle is and our pots and pans and those kinds of things underneath there. So I just pop straight back on and then we obviously have our cooker. So it's super nice and accessible. We just roll things straight out, pop this up and we're literally ready to cook within a few seconds there. So that all comes back down, Boom. pops away. And within a couple of seconds, our cooker and kitchen is all the way nice and tidy. Cool. So as we come inside, we have our sink area. So we have quite a nice little deep sink underneath here um, and a little pump action tap. So that's run by 20 litres of water underneath here, which we also have our grey water underneath here and this nice little handy bin as well. We pop that back away. Behind the driver's seat is all the electrical. So that's our secondary battery, which is 120 amp hour lithium. We have a 300 watt inverter to charge just the sort of laptops and cameras. Um, and then any solar inputs, as well as our power board for lights and kitchen light that sits over the kitchen when we're cooking. And then also turns on the power to our fan which this is the Sirocco fan. Definitely worth the investment, it's not cheap, but this thing has already saved us um, being up here in the tropics. It's really saved us during those hot nights and you can set it three speeds, you can set it with um, different timers as well. Um, this was worth the investment. Alex definitely didn't want to spend the money, but she's definitely glad. She tells me every day, she's so glad that we went and did that. And then apart from that down here, we just have a 30 litre Waco fridge, which is just big enough to get us by. We generally have to shop, you know, every half week or week if we really push it out. So underneath the, our bed here, this access is to a couple of these boxes. The first one is just all our shoes. The next one is linens, towels, all that extra stuff. And then as we go further that way, we have one which is our dirty laundry. So we can just pick it up, take it straight to a laundromat and clean our stuff. And then the one hidden away in the back there is all our tools, which has already come in handy. So up above um, where Kai's just gone through, we've got all our toiletries section. So this goes through into a lot of my toiletries, not so many of Kai's. Lots of our games, um, shampoo, conditioner, and something really cute which we added was like a little family memoriam. So when we get really homesick, we've got them to look at too, <laughs> which is super cute. Lots of little touches, some flowers my mum got me, candles, hand wash, all that sort of stuff. Besides sort of the little touches, we've got our main pantry in here. Probably our favorite spot where we keep all of our jars and pastas and cereals and milks and all that sort of thing. This little mirror here is also good because it can sit that way and also when I pull it out this way, I can kind of use it as like a mirror in the morning when I'm getting ready. Then we've got this little drawer here which has got all our cutlery, sort of big utensils, extra um, vegetables that don't need to be in the fridge. This little one's really cute. 
as we've got a little table which Kai and I often like play games and do that sort of thing when the weather's really poor and the mosquitoes are really rabid. Then we've got this little fella here. She's got all our plates and bowls and cups and they all fit in there on some matting so when we drive they don't rub around and kind of crack or make too much noise. So inside here is all our clothes and our wardrobe. This section over here is mainly mine. It's got all of my hanging stuff, bras and undies down there and then extra cupboard space here. Our middle one goes into lots of different boxes which is where we store all of our clothes. We found this really works for when you're driving all your stuff doesn't fly out. Um, and then heaps and heaps of storage down here which goes all the way to like the bottom of the van. And then Kai's little wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and then what most people would call their living area, um, the headquarters where we spend most of our time. Um, we share driving, We're not, we don't have one in particular, but we do have these awesome seat covers that sit on both of our seats. These are from Wandering Folk. They were so nice um, to send us a pair and honestly, we have not got so many comments from people and how cool they are. We absolutely love them. They're washable, they're sustainable, and they just look epic. Inside here was actually an additional thing that we weren't sure if we were gonna put in, but are so happy that we did. This is like the equivalent of someone with a center console, but we've actually built ours to store all our camera gear, drones, GoPros, laptops, and it's got a lovely little handy latch on it. So if we wanna lock it, we can. And that's just been really good for storing stuff and keeping everything out of the road. Here can get really messy really easily. So it's nice having lots of little storage spots to be able to put everything and just keep it all away. And our favorite part, the bed. It's so comfy since we upgraded it. So in our last video, you would have seen that we've made it so like it's a memory foam with the topper and a whole heap extra cushion and support and comfort for us at night. Bed spreads, you know, we kind of like the mustardy sort of look. And then this little pillow here, our favorite little pillow. I think this has been with us throughout all our journeys. It is so old and ratty, but we just love it. It's so good for, as people know, if you're traveling in a van, you're on your knees a lot, like on the ground, pulling things out and we don't have a pop top, so we're extra on our knees. So this has been really good for that. Then we've got lots of little designs over here. Our switch, which connects to a little light up in here, which Kai does a lot of his reading. <laughs> and then we've got this little roll out drawer here, which is known as the not so cool drawer. Um, but it's got all our camping stuff. So we've got our shower, which isn't a solar one, but it does plug into our 12 volt here. We've got lots of our side walls, matting, rope, extra water, buckets, awning pieces, solar panels, that sort of stuff. So in the back here underneath the bed, we have these two big pull-out sliding drawers. One of them is what I like to call the fun drawer. It has all our wetsuits, fishing rods, dive gear, um, all that kind of fun stuff. So we carry about 75 litres of water with us. That's with the 20 litres underneath the sink for the hand um, tap. Then we have 10 litres in the back drawer here, additional sort of drinking water. And then on the roof, we have a 45 litre flat um, water tank as well, which is really nice and handy. Just about to pull out and I've done it up so that you can just get some water out straight from the tap there. Probably my favorite um, little additive as well. Makes it nice and easy to get some fresh water.
time.